actually there is no difference it's the same name uh, is how we used to call it and how we call it nowadays however uh, so the, we used to call it PGS, which is genetic screening, pre-implantation genetic screening, and now we call it, it testing for aneuploidy, so it's pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy. However, what is different is the techniques, and both the techniques of the biopsy and the genetic analysis have been changed, have been involved in the previous years, and I had, uh, since I'm an old enough, I had the, privi the privilege of going through the techniques and we had uh, techniques that uh, required more, more uh, human skills, like fixation of the cells. We used to test only one cell on day three, only one blastomer on day three. This had a lot of problems, and we used to analyze genetically only nine to up to 13 chromosomes. Nowadays, uh, we do the tubing, which is nicer than fixation. We don't lose uh, chromatin, we don't lose DNA, and on the other hand of the genetic analysis, we analyze the complete set of chromosomes, which is two, 20, uh, uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes. So we have evolved, so uh, PGTA is far better than PGS, uh, but actually uh, PGS and PGTA are the, the same name for uh, the same thing.